Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a festive DIY that is so simple, anyone can do it. It was my first time to give it a bash. So I really wanted to make a wreath this year, but I wanted to do something different. Um, so I was thinking of using up some old baubles that I have because behind me I'm gonna do up my tree and I have like all new kind of baubles and color scheme for that. And I was like, I don't wanna throw out my old baubles. So I decided to make a bauble wreath. Um, I had seen some on Pinterest and I was like, you know what, I think I could give that a go. So I was scrolling through Pinterest, I stumbled across loads of people's fab um, ideas for like bobble wreaths so I decided to give it a bash. I went to my local, actually it was Mr. Price, I got one of the styrofoam rings but you can get them in the craft shop um, and then I got some a few new baubles because I knew I wouldn't have enough of my old ones so I wanted to kind of do like a rose gold um, copper burgundy kind of wreath so um, I got some new decorations from Penny's to give it a bash I just got some baubles, some medium and small size from Penny's and also got a cute little bird as well to stick on. Um, so it was inexpensive so if you have loads of old baubles, um, I underestimate how many baubles you need for this DIY. You do need a decent amount of baubles depending on the size of your styrofoam ring. So I was able to use up my old baubles and I used the new ones then for the pops of colour. I love seeing what you guys are getting up to so if you have done some Christmas crafts um, or Christmas DIYs, doesn't have to be anything fancy, I love to give them a bash myself. If I had more time, um, what gets in the way, I would love to do more Christmas DIYs, but please tag me so I can get some inspiration from what you guys are doing. You can tag me either on Instagram in your pictures or leave your links below in the comment section to like blog posts or YouTube channels so that I can go and check them out. So enough waffling, let's get straight into the video and I will show you how I made my bobble wreath. So this is what I have in today's kit, I'm loving all the colours, so I just got for 5 euro a pack of 24 kind of medium sized baubles and then I got two packets, these were only 150, these are smaller baubles in the same kind of colour palette I got one big thing of thick luxury rose gold tinsel this is all from Penny's or Primark actually I got this little board um, I thought he was kind of cute to stick on and then I have my polystyrene rings which were 2 .99, and I got them in Mr Price now for glue, ideally you should use your glue gun for this. I went to the craft shop yesterday to get replacement glue sticks and they were out of stock. So everybody was obviously getting very festive and all the glue sticks were gone. So I picked up this glue, it's like a 3-in-1 um, craft glue. I'm hoping this works. I've used this glue before and liked it. I used it when I was making my letter frames. So I'm going to try this glue today. I'll insert a little clip of a close-up of it and hopefully it works. Fingers crossed. So my plan to make these is, I'm going to wrap some tinsel around them. If the tinsel doesn't work and it's, the tinsel is too thick, I'll just take it off. You could also spray the ring with some leftover spray paint. I have some copper spray paint, I could do that. Or you could just put some ribbon around it. It's just to hide any of the white gaps. And then I'm going to start at the inside and I'm going to glue on a layer of baubles. Then I think I'll do bigger ones on the outside and then I'll stick in the smaller ones then. And I'm just gonna keep building up the layers of baubles until it looks deadly. <laughs> With the baubles, I'm just gonna cut the strings off as well. Um, cut them off and stick them so the little kind of, what would you call that? The little nodule um, is at the back so you don't see that. And hopefully, hopefully this turns out. <laughs>
just been gluing and placing, gluing and placing. It's a little bit looking like a bobble mess right now. So what I'm going to do is, I have my little helper here as well. Um, I'm going to start putting on the smaller baubles and layer it up and try and hide a bit of the tinsel. So I don't mind the bits of tinsel on the outside, but I kind of want to get more baubles to fill some of the gaps up box of really old decorations so I've been taking the colours um, from them to stick on and mixing in my new ones so all of the colours kind of match. So I have used up all my baubles and they're not falling off <laughs> so I'm going to hang this up and let it properly dry and then I'll give you all a little look at it. forgot about this little chap so I just have my wreath up on the door and I have a little kind of gap up here so I might see what he looks like if I stick him on. That is my attempt at a bobble wreath. Please tag me in your pictures and let me see how you got on if you do give them a shot. That was my first time making one so I think I did pretty good for my first time. Um, I kind of just kept sticking all the bobbles on until it looked half decent. You can tag me on Instagram or link below um, to any blog posts or YouTube videos that I can check out. I just noticed I have like glitter in my hair. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys!